Hey guys, I'm shooting this video as promised on helping you to overcome, completely overcome, the myth of price. You know, how many of you out there, when you're going to make a sale or you're out there selling and somebody asks you, well, how much is it? Man, your energy changes, your whole body language, you tense up, you clam up. And you know, there's been times when you've asked somebody yourself how much something is and when they told you, you, you panic. You should never, ever, ever panic at price because price is a myth and we're going to be talking about that, okay? So I'm going to give you seven things that you can do. I try to be very practical in my training and my coaching uh, that you can do to help you heal from any price negative price beliefs that you have or even help you be able to sell better uh, without, you know, worrying about price or fearing price or hesitating to talk about price, but that you can talk about price with just very calm, uh, relaxed, uh, but confident energy, okay? Number one is you have to believe that you literally deserve more than what you'll ever be paid for because of the value that you produce for people. So in other words, Here's, here's how you live. This is what your belief. Remember, everything comes back to beliefs. Your belief is, you know what, no matter what price I, I charge, I'm actually worth more. 100% of the time, even if I were to charge a million dollars, I'm actually worth more than that. If somebody was to say, hey, um, like for example, you know, my, my coaching one-on-one uh, -on -one coaching is, you know, some would say it's expensive. Well, that's first of all, you stop using words expensive. That's one thing that you do is you develop some beliefs that are healthy and you don't allow yourself to say things like, ooh, that's expensive or say things like, I can't afford that. You come from a place of abundance where you believe that, you know what, I'm worth it and I deserve more, okay? Number two is, is, this is really important, that you surround yourself with people that think big and that have healthy self-esteem. In other words, get around people, my friends, that um, they're okay with price. They think big. I remember one time I was talking to a guy who's very wealthy, very successful, and um, I think I was driving a Cadillac Escalade or whatever, and, and he looked at me and he goes, man, that's nice. And I was like, yeah, he goes, you look good in that. And it was actually something that I was, it was at an event, so I had rented it. I was like, do I really? He's like, yeah. He goes, but man, that's too small for you. You need a private jet. Well, this guy I've been around in my whole life. He just thinks so big and his vision is so massive. Well, every time I'm around him, that helps me think bigger. A lot of times... You know, you look at someone that maybe has a private jet and you think, oh my God, I could never have that or I can't believe he spends that kind of money. See, when you think or you feel that way or you talk that way, you're revealing that you still have some negative price beliefs. Number three is visualize yourself getting paid huge amounts of money. You know, I want you to get to the place where you out there develop a product or, product or service that's worth hundreds of thousands of dollars charge for it and believe and visualize and see people actually paying you for that product or service. You know what I mean? Very important. Number four is build your self-confidence. One of the reasons why some of you struggle with pride, pride, price is because you still have unhealthy self-esteem or low self-esteem and you have no confidence. When you believe in your product and service more than anything on the planet, then you believe it's worth the price and you have the confidence to charge that. Even if people don't pay for it, you never change your price just because people don't see the value in it. Number five, my, if, if that be the case, then, you know, it, every time somebody went and bought, you know, uh, maybe a Ford Escort rather than a Rolls Royce, you know, Rolls Royce would be changing their prices all the time. No, there are people that will actually pay the money for the Rolls Royce. Uh, but people that buy the Ford Escort may never do it. You can't continuously change your price, my friends. This is where confidence comes into play, where you say, okay, you know what? I understand there's people that will never pay for this. There's people that will never be able to pay for this, and that's okay. That's when you come from a place of confidence, okay? Number five is practice speaking your price over and over and over and over again. 
until it becomes so, like somebody says, well, how much does that cost? So it's $10,000 up front or three payments of 3,995, what would you rather do? And you just get to the place where you say it so smoothly and so confidently and you're comfortable talking about price. Number six is stay extremely, um, stay in extremely expensive hotels, you know, buy the best clothes. I mean, literally, I want, I want you one day to go spend $500 on a pair of shoes without guilt. Because what this is gonna do is this is gonna transform your energy. And you're probably like, oh my God, I would never. Yeah, think about it though. People spend that amount of money like on a house payment, you know? And there's people that like always buy the cheapest shirt, the cheapest furniture, you know, the cheapest thing on the menu. And I understand being conservative. I understand sometimes you literally don't have the cash, but every once in a while, I want you to break out and buy the best ticket at the ball game. I want you to buy the most expensive shirt. I want you to buy first class because what this is gonna do is this is gonna do something for your energy and your beliefs and you're gonna start becoming accustomed with higher prices and not uncomfortable with it. I remember doing this, staying at the Waldorf in New York City and the room was like $4,000 a night there. And, you know, I remember thinking, oh my God, you know, and I remember though, at the time, it transformed me and my energy and my belief and really helped me with this whole price issue. And the number seven is develop a belief that price is a myth, as I said in the beginning, and that it is the most overrated thing on the planet. There's nothing more overrated than price, my friends. You know, case in point, if somebody was to come to me and say, man, can you coach me how to raise a kid like Caleb? I mean, there's no way that I would do that for anything less than probably fifty dollars to $100,000 because think about it. What would that be worth to a parent to have a kid like Caleb? Well, I know what it's worth to me. I know that there's a lady who spent over $70,000 just in attorney fees and all these different like rehab centers because her 17 year old kid is so strung out on drugs that she's not been able to help him and that's after spending $70,000. You get my point? So price is a myth, my friends. Remember this, and you've all heard it before, but this is something you gotta remember is when value exceeds price, price always becomes irrelevant. Love you guys. Listen, if any of you would like to do one-on-one -on -one coaching with me or you would like to maybe go through some of my courses, it's this simple. Just shoot me an email at matt at mattmaddox.com or just go to my website, mattmaddox.com. Love you guys. Have an awesome day, my friend.